either I'm Kijan Haynes and this is the Marketplace Excellence Caribbean Report for Friday, January 1st, 2021. The MPE Caribbean Report provides updates from around the region. A Guyanese-born scientist has made history in the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic by developing the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. Vidya Surenja Rupchan, named after the late Nobel Prize winning Caribbean author V.S. Naipaul, is Pfizer's principal research scientist. He noted the transparent regulatory process and would not have participated in making the vaccine if he would not take it himself. Rupchan sees himself as part of the American dream, credits his educational foundation and life experiences in the Caribbean and Guyana to his success. He recognizes the need for the region to invest in technology skills and encourages children to dream big and be fearless. Pablo Torres, president of the Caribbean Hotel and Tourism Association, has delivered New Year's messages of hope and resilience for the region and expressed deep gratitude to the health, hospitality, transportation and government sectors that are on the front line of the COVID-19 pandemic. He also lauded the protocols and partnerships that have been implemented that not only have kept the tourism sector alive, but will hasten its return to pre-COVID travel levels. Many in the Caribbean are to be commended for how well we have responded to the pandemic. The Caribbean has managed to contain the virus more effectively than most parts of the world. And I will maintain that we will see a return of tourism to the region faster than many parts of the world, thanks to those protocols and partnerships we have put in place. Dr. Devi Shetty, founder of Health City Cayman Islands, is featured in the recently released Netflix documentary, The Surgeon's Cut, produced by the BBC. Dr. Shetty is a world-renowned heart surgeon and started one of the Caribbean's healthcare institutions that delivers high-quality, affordable medical, surgical, diagnostic and therapeutic care for adult and pediatric patients. The documentary features four acclaimed surgeons as they conduct pioneering and often life-saving procedures provides rare insights into their personal lives and showcases their journey to become and remain world-class surgeons. Dr. Shetty shared the importance of developing regional healthcare infrastructure and how getting children inspired about medicine is an essential building block. Not that every foreigner will come to your place as a doctor with the, or a hospital group with the intention of uh, taking care of everyone. You see, the, the intention may not be very honorable a few times. Whereas if he is one among you, yeah. he won't look at the dollar on your face. He look at the lady he has been seeing all along and now she is sick and it's my duty to take care of her. That kind of a thing, uh, you know, we are trying now, we have this scholarship program and we are trying to get kids excited. And God willing, we should be able to have some medical schools either in Cayman or somewhere so that once we have medical school when they kids start seeing these youngsters running around with the stethoscope on their neck right I think then the kids will get excited Reggae star Alborosi is front and center in the fight against human trafficking with his recently released reggae medley, Shadows After Dark, that encourages us to be careful about whom we trust. Alborosi, his agency VP Records, the Jamaican National Task Force Against Trafficking in Persons, and the Jamaican Ministry of National Security have come together to launch this global campaign. A poster contest has been added to create a visual element and further heighten awareness. The International Reggae Poster Competition runs until April 20th. Though a disturbing topic, for some it is one to be mindful of as we start a new year. We leave you with Shadows After Dark that features a number of internationally recognized artists, including Christopher Martin, Taurus Riley, and Morgan Heritage.
And that's our update for the week. Remember, things change, and the Caribbean Hotel and Tourism Association has a comprehensive list of Caribbean countries and territories that are opening their borders, planning to do so soon, or are changing their COVID-19 travel protocols. So if you're planning a trip, visit caribbeanhotelandtourism.com slash COVID-19 for more details. To all our viewers, Happy New Year, and we wish you the best for 2021. We also wish you an enjoyable weekend. Please wash your hands, maintain physical distance, Distancing, wear a mask and stay well. I'm Kijan Haynes and this has been the Marketplace Excellence Caribbean Report.